Okay, so during the, the Ice Age, these huge sheets uh, covering uh, lots of land mass, ice was incredibly thick, so mile-wide mile, uh, thicknesses of ice piled on top of land, and then the Earth starts to warm. So widespread melting of those ice sheets uh, begins, and the glaciers uh, recede, leaving in their wake environments that used to be completely buried under ice but are now exposed. If you go into areas like, for example, around British Columbia, you'll find that the islands around Vancouver are dotted with freshwater post-glacial lakes covered uh, in these formerly ice-covered regions. Those freshwater lakes, if you uh, look in them, very frequently have sticklebacks that have come in uh, from the ocean but then adapted to the local environmental conditions in the lake. That adaptation includes uh, decisions about uh, how to avoid predators. This shows a trout trying to eat a stickleback. You can see the sticklebacks sometimes uh, get away, so the armor that they have can be very useful. Sticklebacks are also uh, eaten by insects. And the preying strategy of an insect is actually to reach out and grab onto things like spines of sticklebacks, uh, reel them in, and then uh, munch them uh, from the side. So depending on the kinds of predators that you're uh, uh, encountering in different lakes, it may be better or worse uh, to have or to lose uh, armor.